everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something different today. I am doing a review of a product that was sent to me and there is a giveaway at the end. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was, yeah, in January, um, I did a, a purchase and review a light and easy steam mop and I'm putting a picture of it right here and a link down below it's by far one of the best steam mop I ever had um, I really really liked it and I just did a spur of the moment review okay and put a link at the bottom of my video because that's what I do okay so the folks at light and easy contacted me and they said we really liked what you had to say about our steam mop would you be interested in reviewing another one of our products? So I said, sure. And then they said, well, would you like to do a giveaway as well? Like, sure. Would you like us to give you a coupon code? Sh sure. So here it is. They sent me the light uh, and easy steam cleaner and garment um, steamer. So it a regular, it's a regular handheld steamer, but you can also use it for um, other things, all right? So, the steamer, I'm going to show everything to you and demo everything, but they also sent me... Let's shift, stop it! But they also sent me the accessories that go with it, and one of those accessories you can ask for free um, when you open the paperwork. So when you open the instruction, you'll see there's a little pamphlet in it that allows you to do a review, and then they will send you this for free. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to do um, different things. I'm going to clean my sink with it, um, with the steamer itself. I'm going to do a garment to see how it actually... Um, D wrinkles or irons a um, shirt and I'm also gonna clean um, a piece of jewelry because you can steam your jewelry clean did you know that I wouldn't do that on the very very expensive stuff okay but on the silver pieces that have gemstones and that's what I'm gonna do today you'll see that it actually cleans your jewelry now this thing here they sent me as an add-on is actually um, the one you use for delicate fabric but it also has the little bonnet here um, that you can use to deodorize upholstery so I don't think I'm gonna be able to clean upholstery with that but it's supposed to deodorize it because this thing here guys if I put on my glasses hold on a second and I don't want to be doing too much talking I want to demo okay because I actually like the product um, I would not do a review on something I don't like or I would just do a review and it would be a horrible review and I would not do a giveaway with it. Um, this is high temperature steam for deep cleaning. It's ready to use in 20 seconds. It really is. Okay, no joke. It's ready in 20 seconds and it kills 99.9% um, of germs and such as E. coli, staph and salmonella and it does it using ordinary water you don't have tap water you don't have to use filtered water you don't have to use distilled water you don't have to use um bottled water you just use your regular tap water so let me get started and let me show you everything you need to know about this little gizmo here which is really really cool all right guys so here it is this is the light and easy steam cleaner and garment steamer okay it's got this star trek looking uh feel to it which I really like actually so when you purchase it it comes with this item right here which you place here hold on this way Sophia okay and that little gizmo right here gives you a more directional um, steam jet but you can also add one of those little bristle brushes and they give you two of those as well so it comes with this two of those brushes and it comes with the little container to pour the water in so this is pretty cool because you can and they are hard bristles right so if you have some really bad gook in a corner you can really get rid of it with this and all you have to do is fill it with regular water and they give you this really really cool little watering can and it's just very easy, you know? Unlike most of the steamers where you have to unscrew some kind of pressurized um, knob, this one you just open it just like the floor one and you just pour your water in there and then it's got a maximum line right here. So I'm just gonna go all the way up to that maximum line, that's it, and then you stop. So you're never gonna have a spill or anything. 
if you follow the direction, you just close it and that's it. So how do you turn it on? Very easy. Uh, you take the plug and you plug it in. And when you turn it on, you get this flashing light here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the flashing light? Okay. And then, so when you get the flashing light, there's no steam. Then when you press once, you get a little bit of steam. And then when you press again, you get the maximum steam. All right, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to remove all of the stuff here. I'm going to show you how fast this thing steams because it's pretty amazing. I'm just going to go ahead and move that a little bit here. Okay, let me press once. You need to have a background so you can really see it. Okay, let me press once. And you're going to see how fast it is. Bam! Do you see that? Uh, that was way less than 20 seconds. Okay. And then when you press again, you get the higher... Um, I don't think you can see it. All right. Maybe you can see it better. Okay, so this is the high steam. Right? And then the other one. So it's blue right here. And then the other one is a low steam and that's the low steam okay now you've noticed there's a difference between this and the regular um, steamers that the regular steamers are constant jet it goes psh, and they're really really under pressure and they can actually damage stuff this on the other hand is hot okay I wouldn't recommend you put your hand in there because it really is hot but it's pulsating and it's a more gentle jet so there's a lot of things you can do with this including garments something you cannot do with the other steamers so it's still filled up all right let's see how much i can do with this i'm going to start doing my sink because i purposely did not shine the sink today i just cleaned it up real quick with a paper towel but did not shine it so i'm going to do two things here one i'm going to go on the high steam and i'm just going to go ahead and steam the inside of my sink okay just real quick but in particular those areas here oh that was hot where um you get a lot of bacteria that just keeps growing okay so i'm going to do half of the sink by the way so we can see the difference This is the side that I did and this is the side I didn't do. So let me just go ahead with a paper towel and let's see how clean we can get this sink. Okay, and look. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell the dirt here? Okay, I thought I had the sink clean. <laughs> you know I clean my sink, but apparently uh, not enough. So definitely, definitely does um, a good job. I got a lot of the gook that was right here on that seam. Um, let me just finish this. Just going with a paper towel here, real quick, okay? Which is the same thing I did on the other side. Okay, so this is the side that I did not use the steamer on. And I'm trying to, do you see all the watermarks? There's some stain there. I don't know if you can see all of this stuff. Okay, so that's what usually my sink looks like, even though on camera it looks somewhat clean. But when you do a close-up, you can definitely see, you can definitely see that the sink is not all that clean. This is, on the other hand, this is the area I just did with um, the steamer and the little brush. So uh, I'm hoping I can get some kind of focus here. There you go. All right, I don't know if you can tell the difference in buff and shine. It really got all of the hard water and a lot of the, um, I didn't do this right here. Okay, it really got a lot of the hard water um, and stains off the stainless steel. And it was really easy to do and slow. And I have to tell you, having used this a couple of times since I got it, one of the things that I like the most about it is that it is a calm tool to use. 
You know, sometimes you get those handheld steamers and because of the jet propulsion coming out of the little uh, spout, it just you just feel rush and they, they can be dangerous. I mean, if that thing is not screwed properly, they can blow up or anything. This, you just take your time with it, you know? You really lose yourself in the task. You don't feel rush and it still does the job. So why risk you know, getting injured and getting all stressed out while doing your cleaning when you can use something like this to make it much easier. So I'm moving on to jewelry before I do um, a garment. So let's try it. I have one piece of jewelry I want to try it on and it's this brooch right here from Ross Simon. This is sterling silver with an amethyst in the middle. I've always liked this. Um, this is maybe one of my favorite piece of jewelry. I liked it so much, I bought two of them and one of them went to grandma's. Um, and I don't know what happened to it after she passed, but anyway. And you can use it as a um, pendant um, as well, which I really, really like. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna clean half of it and leave the other half so we can see whether or not it does a good job. Though the problem with the steam cleaner itself is that the steam is not very concentrated in terms of the size of it so a lot of the steam is going to go over here so let's just do it before and after because i have a feeling that if i i can't just do a half unless i cover it with duct tape but we're not going to do that right so we're actually looking at my sink right now but i put a um, purple um piece of cloth so here it is so this is the before okay and again i really love this I don't know if they sell it uh, still. It was a uh, hundred something dollars on Russ Simon. It's all sterling silver and it's a pin, you know, a brooch. I love those. But again, it has the little opening here so you can actually hang it and use it as a pendant. Really, really like this. Let's see. And that's an amethyst. Uh, I think it's five carat amethyst in the middle. So um, let's see how well I can get this clean. So just for reference purposes, here is the before. Right, um, definitely made a difference. Okay, so now I don't think this is like the cleanest this could be, but I think, let's look at the um, before. I'm gonna put it right here. So this is the before and here's the after. So there's definitely a difference in the cleanliness. If you really wanted to have a super thorough job on a piece of silver like this, uh, by all means use a silver cleaner and then let it stand on your piece and then use the steamer to dissolve it and um, then buff it because sometimes you do have some tarnish that requires a little bit more elbow grease that no steam in the world is going to remove but this I think it did a pretty good job I mean I couldn't get all the way in there so obviously um, I'm gonna leave the dark sides I think they are meant to be like that, so that way it gives you a little bit more contrast. But I'm pretty happy with the job it does on jewelry. It's a process, you know, you want to um, spend some time cleaning your stuff. This is not like, this is not as easy as the jewelry cleaner that you buy at your store, where you just dump your piece in it, give it a good shake and pull it out. But at least you're not using chemicals. That's just the way I look at it. Right, so I'm in the kitchen still and I have a shirt here that used to, uh, what well, that used to, that still belongs to Scott. So I'm just going to turn this on um, and I'm going to use this um, little piece they gave me here that has the uh, bonnet. This is hot, you guys, okay. So you're supposed to use this for um, delicates and we're going to see, this is the shirt, we're going to see whether or not um, it helps in ironing it. Oh, uh, and wow, <laughs> it does. Oh, this is great. I hate ironing. I really do. This 
is not going to replace your uh, dry cleaning or anything like this, but you know when you need to just press, really press quickly a shirt, it works. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see what it does on the stainless steel appliances in my kitchen because now that I have this little thing here, I wonder if it does a good job on the stains. worked. How do I rate this thing? Um, out of five star, give it a four. Why is it not a five? Well, because it's slow. <laughs> okay. And sometimes it's just, you want the cake and you want to eat it too. You want clean, you want safe, and you want fast. Okay. This will give you safe, clean, but not fast. All right. So I'm giving it a four. Um, if it was a faster process, I would definitely give it a five. Am I going to continue to use it? Yes, definitely to clean, um, to clean my semi-precious jewelry. I am not recommending you use a steamer of any kind on your good stuff, okay? Don't use it on emerald, ruby, sapphires, diamonds, moissanite diamonds, any of this stuff, or crystals for that matter. i am used it on a simple piece of silver, a sterling silver and an amethyst, and um, it came out really nice, but beyond this type of jewelry, I wouldn't use the steamer. Okay, that's my recommendation. Now, if you want to take your stuff to a professional cleaner um, and, and they say they're going to steam it, that's on them. Uh, but I'm not telling you to do that. Let's be clear. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, um, so that's that. So I give it a four out of five. Um, now, all the information about the giveaway is down below. Um, light and easy people are going to send you your own. This one I'm keeping for myself, but they're going to send you your own. I don't know if they're going to send you the additional pieces that go with it. Okay. Um, maybe you can ask, or maybe I can ask them to send those to you as well. But the giveaway information is down below. If they gave me any coupon code, it's down below and the link is down below as well. So I was very happy to receive this. Um, I gotta be honest, sometimes I receive products, I try them and I don't do reviews and I tell the companies, I'm sorry, I'm sending the product back to you or I'm paying for the product um, to reimburse you because I didn't like it. So I am not doing reviews on stuff that's a, uh, uh, a bust. I'm not, okay? I'm only gonna do reviews on stuff that I think work because I wanna give you good recommendations and I like this. Um, here's the second brush that came with it. Okay, so that was it. For those of you wondering uh, what's the new schedule for videos and everything, I gotta be honest, I do not know, okay? Because this girl here, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know everything that's going on in my life, but just to give you a heads up, we are in 2018, well, we all know that, but for me, it's also the year that I have to renew my license, okay? So, as a counselor. So, this is what happened. I'm working full-time, I'm doing YouTube part-time, and I have to take um, 40 hours worth of classes in six hour or three hour chunks, okay? Either in the evening or on the weekend. So, I'm busy, you guys. There's a lot of things that I don't want to get involved with right now that, you know, would get in the way. So, like, for instance, uh, Monday, I had a training after work in Trenton. I didn't get home until... 11.30 at night, okay? So there's a lot of stuff going on <laughs> right now. So please be patient. The videos, I know I did a whole month of almost daily videos and I know it's gonna be um, like withdrawal symptoms for some of you at this point, but I got other things I need to take care of, okay? Anyway, this was my review of the light and easy um, steam cleaner and garment steamer. I like it. I give it a four. It did a good job on my piece of jewelry. It did a good job on cleaning the sink. It did a good job on Scott's shirt. Um, yeah, it looks better. It's not like ironing, but it looks better. Um, it did a good job on the top, the front of the um, stainless steel appliance, but I don't know if I, that's something I want to do on a regular basis because I really don't know what this would do on the finish. Okay, so I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying 
I'm gonna have to read on that and educate myself a little bit more okay so check out down below all the information you need for the coupon code the link to the products and the giveaway if you want to win your own light and easy steam cleaner I'll talk to you later thank you for watching give me a big thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner and I will see you later bye